Well, PAX uh, basically is a system that lets us pull up um, x-rays. The PAX system has been uh, revolutionary. What you'll see is a digital uh, array of an x-ray or CT scan on ultrasound that you can look at. And uh, you can look at that in real time. But also, it'll archive things. You can actually go back and look at an X-ray or CT uh, or an ultrasound, say, from yesterday, maybe the last seven days. As we can um, review the images with the radiologist while we're talking to them on the phone um, and actually see what they're looking at, which is very helpful, because sometimes you're, what, what the, someone writes down on paper doesn't give uh, justice to what the picture actually looks like. Well, if we can see CT scans and X-rays and stuff from other facilities before the patient gets here, so we know exactly what to expect when they get here. We used to have film that had to be developed and you had to put it on the view box and it had a big time delay all by itself. At this point, um, I am reading the x-rays before the radiologist and I've already called the neurosurgeon with the critical bleed in the brain that I've already seen and the radiologist is calling me afterwards saying, did you notice? And I said, yeah, yeah, that's handled. It's in the OR. And uh, that would have been impossible uh, when I started in this in this job. Right. What, do you, what do you want me to do? Give her some yeah. final answer? Yeah. Right. There's a million examples I can go into how the PAC system can save lives. I had somebody with a gunshot wound. And I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm like, I don't think that bullet penetrated his chest. And he looked normal. Um, the textbooks would have told you if he had a gunshot wound the way that uh, this gentleman did. Uh, we would have, should have put in a chest tube at that point, talked to the radiologist, and he says the bullet, he told me the bullet didn't penetrate. By not making the intervention, I certainly uh, put this gentleman through a lot less trouble.